Welcome back. Yes, I'm starting from the menu screen this time for a good reason, because you see, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Because this is a Suda51 game, because it's so bizarre and messed up, I've decided that whilst recording this time, can you hear that? Whilst making this recording, I'm going to drink vodka. I'm going to see precisely how rat art I am by the time I finish, by the time I give up playing. So, without further ado, cheers. Nom nom nom. Wait, put me back here. Oh, sorry. No, I wasn't as far back as I thought. Oh, it's kind of a good thing to do back here, actually. Because now you find out. Ooh, I got another Nick ticket. A Nick it. And another lollipop. Yeah, you do. That's why nothing happened. <coughs> uh, I've only just started drinking, by the way. That glug 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 today was me pouring the, my first. Yes, I'm having vodka and dandelion and burdock. I know, it's an interesting mix, isn't it? I usually have vodka and Vimto, um, but the Vimto is currently, um, thing to do. Yeah, let me move. <coughs> the Vimto that I used to get. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. Oh, let's try that again. Get off. Get off. Right, one more time. Uh, gotcha! Alright, now what's that do? Okay. Um. Nick Toss! Go! Ready? Um. Seriously? Now I need to deal with these guys. Oops! Not off to a great start, man. Oh, At least I remember the button, but it's just then I might forget that. Oh, that's a problem. Hey, help! You're late, Juliet. Jesus! Okay. Where's my ammo? Where's your fault? Oh, How lame. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I did get an... Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do have... Go on by. Well, it's up. Go on by one, I suppose. Uh, okay. Oh, are we? Hey, it's just a car again. Is he... Thanks a lot. Okay. What's the deal, dude? Zombie cop. Yeah. Oh, you grab the grab the grab the grab the Apparently. Oh. Oh. By the way, for those who don't know, this guitar is, I think, an old Grecian word that means effectively warmer. Oh. I actually originally learned it from the game. Um, uh, Vampire the Masquerade by White Wolf. Yeah. Oh, go, go. Yeah. Oh, got him. Yeah. Hey! There we go, he's dead. 
not awful. That's not actually all things considered. And some more. Okay. So in my thumb album. Oh, and I have enough for that new costume. Which, since I'm not honestly a big fan of the whole um, cheerleader thing, I'm probably going to get straight away. Certainly, first opportunity I have. Final break down. Yeah, I can't break them. I can't break them. Oh, uh, can't break that. Yay! And some more. Break! Break! Don't worry, I'm not going to drop yet. It takes a lot more than a few mouthfuls of vodka. Okay, wait. To get me going. <coughs> okay, you're going right this time. I'm down. No! Don't say thanks or anything. Oh god, these exploded people. Oh man. Their bodies are wrapped with bombs. We need to run away before they explode. Come on! How was that fun? Dude, your girlfriend's a cheerleader, and you're wondering how to take stuff like that is fun. Ow. Ow, that did a lot of damage. A hell of a lot of damage. Ow. The thing is, another lollipop in here. Oh, uh, no, not again. My console's just crashed on me again. Great. It really doesn't like this game, does it? Now, I'm going to cut this one short here. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to try cleaning the disc. Uh, sorry for that. Sorry about this, folks. Okay, so I've already restarted this once. And the game managed to play for two minutes this time before it cut out. In fact, I don't think it was even that long. You know that bit where I was fighting those zombies to rescue that kid? Yeah, he died there. No, just after that. After they pulled that shutter up. So, yeah, don't really know what's going on with this. I really, really hope it's not a sign of my street guy. It's just a case of this game being stupid because I got it set in the second time. Rented, you know what I mean? It's effectively a second time cycle. Suppose the good thing is it's letting me get more nick card things, so I'm hmm, something at least. Yeah, I know. See you Come on. Thank you. Nick tickets. Nick tickets. I'm also, I think I'm getting the hang of it. These Nick ticket things. So, yay! Awesome. There we go. You ready? Yes, we're ready. Get on with it. Plus, I, I, from the it's previous so bit where I just got from the things and the watching the jig, I went down here and stuff. Nick toss. Eat. Go. <laughs> That way, I'm fast in them. Yep. You're late, Juliet. Why would Why would a random kid be not be talking? Seriously. Where's my mother? Where's your bug hole? Yeah, because jerks trapped us in here. How late? Where there are lots of female students trying to give it away. Maybe this is the, I don't know, the cheerleading section or something? Know. It seems like the kind of game where all these girls are being cheerleading and they're all homeless and all that. Now, let me know, that's not the assertion, that's where they should be, because that's where this game was put from. Strikes me as that kind of game. Thanks a lot! Kill the truth, Kill the what? Zombie cop. Zombie. Zombie. Hey. Honey, you're a cheerleader with a chainsaw. You're not really in a position to talk about what is and is not fair. 
flying. I did actually um, give the disc a wipe over the second time it's okay. Oh yeah, you won't have got that there. I said I don't think it's actually the disc. It seems like my console is open. I really hope it's not a sign of my 360 break. Oh man. So, Their yeah. bodies are wrapped with bombs. We need to hit them and run away before they explode. Come on! Uh, Yay! Right, now I want to use a power lock. I'm about to pick another one. But yeah, I, I said that I don't think it's at the disc, but Ooh. I um, decided to give the disc wipe over anyway from the fact that I actually have all my consoles and stuff on a TV cabinet, and I noticed that my 360 was running a little warm, so I pulled it out and laid it down sideways instead of having it stood up. It's now on the floor. What the heck is this? Um. Um. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. So it's now way down rather than being put up. It's no longer in the cabinet. And I wiped the disc over the two text. Cool. So she's not going up there after all. Yay! Quite limber, isn't she? I'm not sure exactly how she is. I'm not sure exactly how she's managed that with with a buzzer that size. I mean, it's normal. Something I don't know why it's normal. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, yeah, this is reminding me. I think three of the best days three. Let's do that one. And she made it three though. Well, not just I just should. Oh. Okay. Is she alright? She's pretty impressive if she is. Oh, I didn't know about that. See, this is the pro like I said, I said previously, this is one of the problems I have with the tutorial, is that they, they don't have to go in. Go, go, go. So you've got this really good at the time when you're telling me. They throw you to do stuff. It's going to be a problem. Oh. Okay, I was actually trying to move it. Nice. I have no idea how I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to play it with all those buttons and buttons. Yeah, I need to drink that. I'm not going to look yet. Mostly from the fact that I'm not going to look at all yet. So, did I just fail to save that women's? Because if I did, that means I won't be getting the achievement in this area. Yeah, but it does get me out of my calculus homework on Friday. Mm. Don't bat on it, bud. Calculate. Uh, 
huh? Does he have like ESP or something? I'll be back for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. cool, asshole. Wait, there are regular people covered in bombs? <laughs> Um, zombie wolf? Oh, isn't it sweet? Oh, hello. Holes are, are a flashy way to kill zombies. Here I come. Okay. Seriously? 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 This is why we want to shoot the 51, because it's so bizarrely bizarre. It makes bizarre seem normal. It makes bizarre seem positive to gay fight and character. This is why we want to shoot the 51. This is awesome! Oh, this is crazy mad craziness. This is... Aww. Didn't save them in time. This is kind of making me want to play a new Chambara as well. I'm not sure exactly how the recording parts are going to work out now that I've had to put it so, up. Yeah. yeah, things and stuff and things. That's not my problem. More exploding viewers. Where, where is all this dynamite coming from? Seriously. Bomber zombies will explode on contact with fire zombies. Kind He's of no brain. But we can't just let them all die, Nick. Or we could. Ow! That wasn't such a good idea. Kind of saw. Whoa! Oh. I guess um, Nick tokens allow me to come back to life as well. Ah! So you can do the Nick toss and the, which is kind of a bit of a misleading misnomer because you don't actually toss it. False advertising that, I'm going to sue them for not including some hanky panky. You don't throw him at all. You spin him around, it should be the Nick spin. Come on, thank you. Alright, I'll give me a chance to save those people. Uh, uh, something. I wonder, do I want to try and escape this? No, but there you go, we do have to get this. Seriously, where is all this dynamite coming from? We just seem to be getting out of nowhere. I'll be back for you! Really? Cool, asshole! Alright. I have to deal with these Diamondite people. He said something about dating me, didn't he? You're supposed to be dating me, something like that? Zombie in love! Isn't it sweet? Hmm. Now, I actually, for those who don't know, I one of the other things I work on is um, voice acting. Audio drama. I'm actually working on a Star Wars audio drama called Jedi Rook, which is about gay sounding Jedi. No, I say gay sounding Jedi, not gay Jedi. They're not actually gay, they just sound like them. Um, anyway, it's called Jedi Rook, so. I guess it's a sequel, Zombie Rook. That could work. I think they exploded because, yay, I saved them this time. Woohoo! Thing. I got video. I'm gonna post this shit on YouTube. Did I save them? Seems like I did. Cool. Not complaining? I want a chainsaw with low parts on it. <laughs> I don't really want cheerleaders though. So. Like I said, I've never been used to the cheerleaders before. I don't really see the attraction now. Oh, I know I've... Oh, who cares? This is going with the mature content anyway. And I'm not drunk yet, by the way. So, just, just so you know. But, um... That's I'm into school, I think. 
I mean, you can. Well, it looks like them all die, Nick. The, uh, yeah, the funky, sexy Catholic schoolgirl outfit. Oh, guys! Oh, oh, did he die? Oh, I screwed up again. Yeah, he died. Oh, well, never mind. That's my fault. I kind of set her off at the wrong time. Oh, well, I'm gonna make up for it by destroying everything. I will protect by destroying everything. You know what? It's competition time. That's a quote from a television show that I used to watch. I'm going to be a little bit more um, forgiving this time and tell you it's from a cartoon that was on the Cartoon Network. It was one episode where a character said, I will protect by destroying everything. And you can identify which episode that was. You know what? The hell with it. If you can identify which episode that was, I will send you a copy of my first novel, completely free, signed so and personalized. What are you gonna do now, Juliet? Take it back or hard back, whichever you prefer. Can't say fair enough. Cool. Something on their heads. She's turning into Mario. Skull crack. And you don't even know it. So I'm on a supermarket. You tell me, I'm on a supermarket, but you're not passing through it. Yeah, where are we going? I need to find Morikawa Sensei. He'll know what to do. Who's that? Morikawa Sensei. He's my sensei. A sensei? But like a teacher? I didn't know you spoke Japanese, Nick. Well, I. I can't speak Japanese, Juliet. I just know that one word. Aww. I think you know more than one word. Innocence is one of the most attractive things about you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> You're like a kitten. A kitten that doesn't speak Japanese. Yeah, okay. Oh, now goes my console again. Bombs. So much for that. Oh well, I'm going to keep going anyway. Be right back. So, I'm now fairly certain it's actually my console overheating for some reason. But because I've had suitable vibrations, and you may be able to tell from the fact that I'm starting to slur a little bit. I'm inebriated and jolly enough that I'm willing to put up with this for now. Um, and I noticed actually whilst this game was loading up, it's made by one. I don't know who's been following it, but um, that was me by the way, I'm plugging the controller. Um, oh, seriously? Wait. I don't know, this is where I thought it was. Still. Earlier than I'd have liked. Um, THQ. I don't know who's been following this, but they're, they're running some pretty severe financial difficulties recently. They did have a company called the Clear Lake Capital Group who were going to literally just give them money to continue making games. But because they'd already filed for bankruptcy, yeah, an American company, I can't remember their name, Rebirth or something, was, um, said that it was uh, against um, uh, bankruptcy legislation, which it was. Don't, I'm not speaking that, but still, it's a horrible condition for them to be in because this company has literally said, we go, have no keep making your game, do whatever you want. So they've now been forced that auction off their um, assets individually. And uh, one of the people watching their buying from this is one of them who actually published the game. Uh, another company, unfortunately, working at it is the studio. They've done a visit with several studios. See, the thing is, um, the thing that makes the HP so good is that they are not wrong. They have a completely different business model. One of making games that are good, rather than making games that are controversial and that get a lot of attention. They don't rely on things like boot fades and the, 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 that appalling sin to win idea they had. EA had for Dante's Inferno. As well as the whole, it's everything you want in the game and you're gonna hate it. That was 
perpetuating the stereotype that gamers are just stupid children. <sighs> well, let's see if I can save this person. Why are you drugs up? He's getting what he deserves. But we can't just let them all die, Nick! Or we could. <laughs> oh no, 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 he's dead. Wait, no, he's dead. Awesome! I think I've blocked the explosion with my face. I feel like he's online. I hate time to That's like saying I can block. What? Yes, yeah, that's like saying I can block punches with my face. I'm saying I can block punches with my face. Say, yay! I'm so totally gonna masturbate to you tonight. Okay. That reminds me of Family Guy in that. Can I be up to you in the shower? Can I poison myself to you in the bath tonight? No. I'm still gonna. I get to do the jumpy thing. Yeah, I want a shot so I can um, buy a new costume. I don't like this cheerleader thing. I want something different. So what are you gonna do now, Juliet? Watch me, Nick. I know that some of the costumes actually change um, her hair color. There's one that makes her a redhead. Redheads are all. Not that I'm biased or anything. Okay, I'm totally If it bleeds, I can kill it. Um. Okay, honey. Julia, where are we going? I need to find Morikawa Sensei. He'll know what to do. Who's that? I don't crash this. Morikawa Sensei. He's my sensei. A sensei? But like a teacher? I didn't know you spoke Japanese, Nick. Well, I... I can't speak Japanese, Juliet. I just know that one word. Aww, I can speak Chinese. Your simple innocence is one of the most attractive things about you. Well, a little bit of Chinese. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're like a kitten. A kitten that doesn't speak Japanese. Yeah, okay. Well, both boy, short tongue, right? That's Chinese Mandarin Chinese, but I don't speak Chinese. Yes. I felt it so important to learn that. For good reason, actually. Because, you see, I used to have a Dutch girlfriend. You know, Dutch and Holland and stuff. The place with all those things. Yeah. And uh, I read a novel by... Ah, oh, she didn't think reading it. A novel by Alan Dean Anderson, who's probably best known for his novelization of the Alien Rider. He did the novel for Alien, Alien, Alien 3. I don't know who did Alien Rider. Um, he also the Alien Nation, he was the original writer of Scroll, the original novel that was before the film. Yeah, that Alan Dean Foster. Um, anyway, he wrote one set in... I think it was set in the future and there was a detective who used old, old tiny, old fashioned detective that he described in modern technology and went to some Spanish place to start in something in Spanish. I can't remember exactly what it was. Oh, yeah, that's too Spanish. But it translated as I am an idiot. And the guy told him that saying this to people, that one simple, simple, simple phrase, will tell everybody they need to know. It will let them know that you need assistance. Something else written. It says zombie basketball. Time limit three minutes. You lose and blam. Okay. So when I was in Holland, I used to tell people, uh, I, I asked her to teach me the, the Dutch that uh, I am stupid. If Ben Dunn has it happened. My other, um, what? contemporary Game's spoke started. English. Zombie I'd also basketball. tell them Time how many killing killing them zombies. How many points can you rack up? You can't take zombie heads and score points. Remember, you can also score three points. It seems like a one-sided game. Well, yes. What do we have here this time? Basketball? Why basketball? Just don't throw my head in the hoop. Time to get to work. Three points. Let's kill him. He's awesome. He's doing the death space. This is a zero default. Where you play basically a zero G. Um. Zero gravity basketball game. I really must get that face. 
They do release some really good games. That's the problem with the US. They do release really good games. And they should be so much good for the industry. But instead they rely on astrology and dignity and childish answers. Oh well, it's the things that they used to be. I mean, I used to be a massive fan of the day back in the day. Oh, really? Back in the days of things like, um, Desert Strike and stuff like that. Oh! That came a bit out of nowhere. Right, now I get the, the next thing this time, don't I? Do I? No. Didn't give me the next thing. Oh, never mind. Uh, reload. Give me a chance to pour more alcohol. Something else. Done more than half the bottle already. I wonder if I'm starting to feel groggy. But yeah, Jungle Strike, Desert Strike, uh, Book Rogers Countdown to Doomsday. Incredible game. Um, what else did they do? Back, on the, back in the days of the Sega Mega Drive, or Genesis, if you're American. What was it? What else did they do? Monsters do. Um, yeah, they do quite a lot. Seriously. There's something else written. It says zombie basketball. Time limit three minutes. You lose and blam. Oh, I'm gonna die. This time. I'll pay more attention to my health. Uh, what? The game's already started. Zombie basketball. Time you're killing them zombies. How many <laughs> points can you rack up? Zombie basketball. Seems like a one-sided game. Bascom bit ball. Oi! What do we have here this time? Basketball? Why yeah. basketball? Just don't throw my head into the hoop. Because, why else, Miss? Oi! You're sort of trying to murder me, I'm murdering you in the face. With a face. I actually can as well, but I have to miss on my head. On my belt. And he has a face. He is a face. Basically. He actually is just pretty much just a face. Okay, yeah, he has a head as well. But face is on the head. Oh! Stop it! Stop trying to murder me! How dare you murder my face! No, I'm trying to go forward, you silly me. I'm halfway there. I'm very glad you have to use all my third of my time, so. Oi! Oi! Seriously! Nope now! Oi! Alright, come on. Oh, we grabbed it. 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 The dying is bad for your health. For those who don't know, dying is bad for your health. I just want to throw the Grisman to me. Yeah, say that's a heart, babe. baby. Oh, you grab it, grab it. What's that? It's not easy, though. Okay, I already have 1995. Oh! No! I already had I had 99 points and I killed people after that, so I should have had all the score I needed. It's a conspiracy of death. A zombiracy. That's what it is. It's a conspiracy of zombies, so it's a zombiracy. Which reminds me, actually, um, 
I want to get the game Dishonored. Not because I actually want the game, but because I heard one of the tracks from the, uh, the OST, which means original soundtrack to the Blue Dog. Uh, called Golden Wager. And it's actually inspired to write another novel, which is actually about the conspiracy. Not the game, oh no no no, not the game, song inspired. Which, there's already a precedent for, considering the fact that, um, it seems like a one the, game. the Chronicles of Magic, which is the series that I'm writing at the moment, was inspired by one line from a song, Hero by Nickelback. But you know what, I'm running a competition at the moment, so people should win, um, a, a free signed copy of the second novel. And all they have to do is correctly identify which line from that song will inspire the entire series, which is now grown from one novel. So I'm writing my third of a six part series, and this one series is only a small part of the story as a whole. Conflict Magic is part of the a larger series which is going to be called, but is called in fact, A History of Dragon. Uh, I'm running a competition at the moment. This will actually be uploaded for competition as well. For anybody who's actually paying attention to videos on my channel, that one line is, it isn't the love of the hero, and that's why I fear it won't do. This is from the song Hero by Nickelback. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it ever in the global flag. So, I'm not fully functioning. Not fully in the global flag. Wow, can you use my only pop now? Why can you use the mouse? Fair enough. Remind me of no more heroes of this game. Oh, section in the first game, isn't it? Where you go into the gym. Into the gym. Oh! You go into the school gym. And uh, you have to fight a bunch of enemies. One minute left. One man left. Nice! What are you cheering? Yeah, I saw it. Um, that one. I need to play more attention to music in this game. I'm kind of shouting. Why am I shouting? Because I want to, because I can, because it's spaces of the people that are not talking about sport. Seriously, why am I not ready to get you? Okay, maybe I should... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, the game's over. While you check out the enormous deadly explosion, we'll wrap up things in the booth. See ya. Okay. Is this is script to the van. Oh, not okay. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So next time, then I need to rush down for okay. what fourth time I'm doing you. this now. I, I'm blaming it on the alcohol. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. At least it's running for now. The game, I mean, not the alcohol. Could you imagine if alcohol had legs? If you actually just like stood up one day and ran. I don't mean the bottle. I mean the alcohol itself. If the liquid I came out of the machine, uh, machine. If the liquid just came out of the bottle and started walking on itself, imagine how bizarre that would be. Do you know what the worst thing about this conversation is? As bizarre as it is, as odd as it is, me talking about. Out of all walking, I make even less sense when I'm sober. That's the thing about me, when I'm drunk, I actually make more what? sense than when I'm completely and totally sober. Time you're killing them zombies. Because How many points can I can't. Because that's just the way I roll, baby. Chamo. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Check it out! Ding 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 Remember, she told us at the beginning she did not like that. She's fine with playing Enjoying. around as long as people really love each other. Remember? Alright, <laughs> oh, my sound still seems to be a little bit funny. So, I'm gonna go and try to fix it again. <laughs> It's my surround sound kit because it's kind of old. Each part is mine. Each um, what can you do? Each of the speakers is wired in individually, um, and it's not like normally get. Yay! Shot. It's not like you'd normally get with. Um, Watching the job. What are those things called? Those things that do stuff. Um, listen to this first. Juliet, Dan, you know about them combo attacks? Get them while you're shopping. They're indispensable for racking up the high scores. I want costumes. Anyway. They're not like those watching a gig and the guns. What are we talking about? Combo attack. You know, combo attack. Something about stuff. Um, speakers! That's the one. They're not like you get with an AV cable, for example, where they have um, like those one. <laughs> Pardon me. Cylindrical plugs. They're, uh, they're wired in individually. They have two wire. They have two wires for each speaker that go into this little plug thing 
for a plastic plug you then put into the back of the DVD player. The home cinema kit game. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again anyway. I, I bought a TV, a Sony TV, a 32 inch widescreen um, CRT. Bearing in mind this was eight years ago. So, you know. Ooh, that increase? Click, click. I think it by some Yeah, go on, I like that. No, not that. Um, swapping things. Let's see the new costume. But, yeah, it, I got the TV, it said the TV was, at back at, at the time, £900. Um... What should I get? But if I, and the home cinema kit was £200. £250. Maybe even £300, actually. What should I get? But... I found something! If you got both of them at the same time, you could get the whole thing for a grand. The most expensive thing I've ever bought, as it happened, was the TV and home cinema kit. Um, the TV I gave to my ex. What should I get? And the home cinema kit I kept, the DVD player, which you can yeah. get for about 20 quid. How do I change my costume? Options? Nope. Do it, stash. Zombie boy, zombie plasma, myth, and tool, those are the things I've got collected. Um, I must have to. Oh, yeah, of course, I've changed costumes at the um, at Juliet's house, don't I? During. in between missions. Well. Anyway, yeah, I actually bought. I, the, my ex now has the, the TV, which is fine. I kind of bought it all, but I kept the DVD player. It's in the middle of this place, you know, I'm going to use it. So, yeah. But anyway, we fly it in the digital instead of being like, all part of the same thing. Which, I'm pretty sure is fairly standard state of play, so... But the point is, sometimes one of the wires will come loose, and as I said, each one has requires two wires to pull. So, with one of the wires, you the sound goes out. And because it has six speakers, no, it has five speakers and a sub one, it's five on one. Yeah, I remember when I first heard about the five part and I started to, I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. Then I heard about the 7.1 and I started to that's getting a little bit silly. And then the 8.1 and I think they're now doing something really stupid, like 10.1. The, the point one means the subwoofer, which, um, subwoofer, for those who don't know, can get out of bats and treble. A lot of people talk about how important Bass is. Kill him before he blows up! It's actually the treble that has the main volume to against it. If you want to make something louder, what you really need is more treble. Not Bass. Treble. Treble is what has the volume. Bass makes it resonate. It makes it kind of that's this what day makes is completely unexpected. a cinema shape. It takes pleasure. You know when you go to the cinema and the, you feel like the room is shaking? That's the bass. The treble is what actually makes it louder. It's not quite that simple, but what do I know? I'm not... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not one of those people. I'm not an audio engineer. Hey, what's your guy who's not here? Oh, of course I got it. Engineer. We ended up going into um, sales because he found that being an audio engineer was a good thing. So he went into sales and he used to tell everybody how he made £300,000 a year before I was a very good thing. 
Then I met his boss, the guy who actually owns the company. The chat got Christy Melanie. He was a really nice girl to the And his, um, he was making approximately £100,000 per week after he paid his bills. Oh well. And Matt was, uh, his name was Matt. Uh, Matt Vickers, not a, um, not a Vickers, um, a Kiwi, Lame. New Zealand. Oops. He's from New Zealand, we call them Kiwi. I have no idea why, maybe it's Kiwi from New Zealand, but I don't think that actually do it. Anyway, but he was telling us it makes £300,000 a year, and then he's surprised that I'm less than enthused when I find out that the guy who owns the company is making £100,000 per week. But dude, I want some of that. In fact, no, £100,000 per week is cool pitch. I want to make £100,000 per day. And apparently, he told me I want a greedy amount. So I went to him once and I told him, well, stop telling me about how much money I'm going to make. Now I hate you more than he seems to have missed the part where I told him, stop telling me how much money I'm going to make and start telling me how to make it. Do you not understand the difference, Mr. Vickers? But, oh well, here's what. So I ended up not saying that job, and I went to writing instead, which is what I always wanted to do anyway. And I've made almost no money whatsoever. In fact, I think I sold 13 copies of my first novel. Yes, 13. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think three of them were to me. And another two of them were actually an escape from one guy who tried to buy it a couple of times and it didn't work. I was still paid for that, which is great. But yeah, anyway. And you know what? I could not be happier with, with, with my chosen career. Okay, I'm making no money out of it, but I'm doing something that I love. I don't mean something that I enjoy, I mean something that I truly love. I am crafting a story that has gone from, one, uh, from an idea for one novel and has grown now into at least, at least, 21. Seriously. And to think, when I first came up with this idea, I had all this stuff, I thought, I'm going to do this within the first 50 pages or so. And I was worried about how I'd managed to make it last that long. And then it ended up taking 150 pages. Although I don't count pages anymore, because I'm a proper author, we now count pages. Oh, by the way, I'm now completely in a free battle. In case you haven't picked it but yeah, authors, we don't count pages, we count words. Because depending on the size of your farm and your which part of you do, you can um, spend a page could have 150 words on it, or it could have 800 words. So we count words, not pages. The first novel I wrote came to 122,000 words, just four words. And I got a the um, and the, um, thanks. Which I can I thank two people that I've never met, and probably never will met, as well as somebody that I know on the street. Anyway, my second novel has come out at approximately 148,000 words, but yeah, that was the second novel. Right, there's a special one more Alright. Oh, cool! But yeah, um... Like I said, I was worried about making it last, about being strong enough. And then I started to wonder, oh, how am I going to make it short enough? How am I going to get everything in the mood? And in the end, actually, I did. My, no my first novel is 123,000 words and it has about... I don't even know. But it has probably only about 30% of what I originally planned to put into it. Now I could make it longer. I could have made it longer, sure. 
Uh, I've read novels that have been three, four, five hundred thousand words. But I thought for a first novel, I don't really want to make it mega, 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 mega. So, I cut my rock a bit. Second novel, 148,000 words, has just about everything that I want. That's only the first draft though. The second draft is probably going to be somewhere around 100. The second draft actually is probably only going to be around 170,000 words. The third draft will be 100,000 words. And we'll have pretty much everything I wanted to put into the second novel because things have changed since I started writing the first novel. A lot of the stuff that I was originally going to put into the first novel is now going to be in a separate trilogy. Yes, three novels that will take place between the first and second. Why am I talking so much about my novel? I don't know, I'm just funny. Just go with it. I'm playing a 2D51 game where I'm a cheerleader with a chainsaw killing zombies in my school with my boyfriend's head dangling from my skirt. And you're wondering why I'm not making any sense. Oh, plus I'm a little bit glad. Yeah. And I still have a lot more things to do. So deal with it. The dancing. Ow! 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 People who are eating my face and stuff. I'm kind of obsessed with face eating at the moment. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I am actually obsessed with face eating. Apparently, cats eat faces on a regular basis. I keep telling my, my partner this because I call her Kitten. She's my Kitten. But she's calling to her mother means that I'm objectifying her and I'm saying that she's my sex Kitten. No, oh, it's not a Kitten because it's cute and sweet. But anyway, stopping things, yeah, but, um, apparently I've had kittens eat faces. Well, my kittens don't, cats eat faces. See, because kittens are a different species to cats. What the hell am I talking about? I don't even know. But anyway, stopping things! And she's really excited to see me play this, and she was actually pestering me today to upload this. As well as somebody else. One of the best friends I have ever and will ever have. He's also asking me if I'd uploaded it yet. Because he wants to play it. Because, well, to be honest, he's um, anti. Just like I am. He, he wants to play it. He wants to go and think. He wants to go and play it. Moe, moe, No, sorry. Wait. Um. Uh. Neko mimi moe moe kyun desu. Yeah. Neko mimi mode is from an anime called Moon Phase, which is about a vampire with um, a headband that has ears on it. Neko mimi mode means cat ear mode. Literally. Moe moe kyun is from the anime Kaon, which is absolutely fantastic. I know it's boring as all hell, and it literally is 30 some episodes of a bunch of schoolgirls being schoolgirls, and that's all there is to it. Not in a creepy perv way, they are just literally a bunch of schoolgirls being. No, wait, wait, no, that's. Uh, um, uh, Lucky Star. Lucky Star is literally just a bunch of schoolgirls being schoolgirls. There is no plot. Apparently, the English dub. So I'm told, tries to add blocks to it, but there isn't one. It's schoolgirls being schoolgirls. That simple. Um, K-On is four schoolgirls, later five. That one, two, starts a band. That's it. That's the whole plot. And it's about the new stuff. And I know it is kind of boring. And... I love it! I think it's great! I think it's so sweet! It's so innocent! Also, the, the main character, click, click. arguably the main character, Yue-chan, she 
That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, okay, you can take this as misogyny if you like, but I want one as a cat. Not in a sexual sense, I just think she's that cute. I just want to keep her as a pet and, like, stroke her and feed her and stuff. Sensei! Ah, Juliet! One moment, please. Does he intentionally look like Mr. Miyagi? Or Pat Morita? Sushi master. Um, but you did. It looks like you've really gotten ahead in life. Why does he have? <laughs> why are there fish around him? My teacher, Morikawa Sensei, is the most amazing veteran zombie hunter ever. Oh, cool. ah, correct. I have studied the zomboid sciences for zomboid. forty years. Welcome to Zombo <laughs> Listen, both of you! The school is in dire trouble! My research tells me that something has gone wrong on a cosmic scale. That's a massive bummer. That completely sucks. Let me show you. The universe is composed of three dimensions. The land beyond words, the rotten world, and our dimension, Earth. There are dimensional walls between each. What? Using a combination of brack magic and explosives, someone cracked the wall between Earth and Rotten World, and the gases of Rotten World seeped into our world. Your friends and fellow students inhaled these gases, which transformed them into the undead. Sounds legit. Whoever did this could be Wait, trying to open one? a permanent gate between here and the Rotten World, one? which Two would be catastrophic, Two unfortunately. Once they have Shut become up, zombies, you. there is oh, no your return. Opinion. All we your can cat. is do clean know? up the school, kill the undead, and stop the bomber. That is our mission. The bomber is either in the cafeteria downstairs or the courtyard. You destroy the zombies in the cafeteria. I shall look in the courtyard. Why are the lollipops all over the place? I'm counting on you both. Kill the motherfuckers! What's your... Wait, wait what? Did I just see his growth? Yes, Sensei! That's Northern English slang for, um... Um... That's a really nice cake. That's Northern English slang for underwear, by the way. Grubs. Gazundies. Gazuntites. Gazuntites? Hmm. Check, check. One, two, three. Ah, I'm super afraid! Get up! Get up, my face! Right, I'm gonna use one of my nick things. Oh, cool. I'm 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 I don't know what that means, but it means I'm 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 Yeah, well, the fact that she's 18 makes her weaker. Pretty much every country in the world. Every country in the world. So yeah, it's, it's not a legal. There's no absolutely no big market being allowed by this game. It doesn't really do it in me, but I think it's not here because I actually play in this game. Yeah, but yeah, there's always good technique. Oh well. Cool. Murdered him and death and stuff. So, somebody want to explain to me why my birthday cake has massive dynamite on it that looks like a dildo? Mom, he's being a dildo. Well, I know a kid who was sleeping with mommy tonight. Yeah, just throwing that one out there for free. Well, that was a crappy party. Wow, dumbest, most explodious birthday cake ever. Don't blame me, brother. Um, dolphin thing? Do not let the fire zombie touch the dynamite. Ow. Oh. The behind this knows my birthday. We must be friends on Facebook. Congratulations! <laughs> You guys touching and exploding would so put a damper on my birthday. Well, it's because you have to say. For those who don't know, 
by Ela Logic. Having a face is responsible for everything. It's true. No. Me. They're just trying to touch my birthday cake. That sounds rude. This major sucks. <laughs> 